What's going on, people? It's your boy, Will, aka Will the Greatest, and I'm going to be your host this week for episode 99 of the Marvel Eat Podcast. Oh my god, that's so crazy. And with me, I have my regular co-hosts, co-hosts, co co-hosts, co- co- cohorts, whatever, uh, Luke, Yo, Lord Vaperion. It is, uh, it's quite astounding that we've kept this podcast running this long. Oh my god. Yeah, it's been it, over two years. It's pretty insane. And we also have Mikey, aka Fail Will 34. What a dooski, everyone. Glad to be back for another episode of The Marvel. I didn't even realize this was 99. I'm, like, running home, trying to get on the podcast last second. And I'm like, oh, shit, we're at 99. We are so close to 100. Uh, I just wanted to say shout-out to every single person who has uh, listened to us and The Marvelite people. We appreciate you all. All right, so we got to jump over back to our favorite company, uh, Sony who has officially confirmed that the writer for the Venom spinoff movie is also the writer for a a little film called Saving Mr. Banks, but more importantly, the writer for Fifty Shades of Grey, (laughs) which... Sony, you had to go do it. You Man, I... Who boy? Well, I, as someone who, if I'm not mistaken, you have watched these films every every, weekend it comes out, right? I have. I've seen uh, the first one. The, the, her name is Kelly Marcel. All right. Way. And what, but, um, what do you think of, of this news as someone who's experienced? I have, I have experienced films. her writing for... The, she her wrote writing. the first one, so she, she didn't have the misfortune of writing the sequel. And the sad fact of the matter is she tried to... She's in, a, she's in the same position where she's trying to turn a really, really shitty idea <laughs> into something functional. And that's... Honestly, she has her work cut out for her. Because I know the differences between the uh, the book and the movie for Fifty Shades and what she tried to do with that. And the film was like the improved version of the book, which wasn't much. But I did hear good things about Saving Mr. Banks, mm-hmm. which is the, the Disney movie I think about. Um, was it uh, Mary Poppins yes. and whatnot in her creation? And I heard that one was good. So, so far, her track record is 50-50. 50 Shades? She did, 50 Shades? <laughs> yeah, 50 Shades, 50 Shades. <laughs> Where she did like a a, a solid movie and a, a a movie that exists, it was really bad but also equally hilarious. So, if anything, Venom will at least have a lot of quotable moments and unintentional comedy. Yeah, Venom is shaping up to be a really interesting film. Like I've said previously, they'll announce one thing that gets yeah. me super excited, like Tom Hardy, and then they'll announce something like left field, like it's a horror comedy or something, and then take back their comments a couple weeks later, or for not for nothing, yeah, for something else. The, um, I don't know what they're trying excited. to do with this movie. I have no idea. Getting the Fifty Shades writer to me is like another like random curveball, but um, apparently, yeah. you know, there's she, she's a, like a 50-50, so I'm kind of just like, in between for this new development but hey man venom's gonna be a really interesting movie by the time it ends up coming out so honestly i didn't really give much of a shit about venom before but now that they have this writer attached to it just because i've seen at least one film that she's worked on (laughs) that was not good and 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 with the cast too because the cast is like they just casted a she venom potentially no yeah and uh was it vanessa Saying, saying it's about to get kinky 50 shades and venom I mean, he's, like, dark, black, shiny, and has, like, tentacles that come out of him, or tendrils. All right, then. So, Let's get it. Um, but just, like, the the more casting and writing decisions, I'm more, I keep getting more interested. I'm like, what are they going to do with this? It's, it's just kind of fascinating to see how this is all going to end up playing out. But, yeah, I think that does it for this episode. Um, if you have questions for us, Leave the hashtag Ask Marvelite, and we will answer them on the show. Most definitely. Uh, so, Mikey, where can people find you at? Z people, you can find me over at uh, Twitter and Instagram at Fail34. All right. And um, I've been your host, Will. You can find me on YouTube and other places as Will the Greatest. Um, like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you in episode channel. 100. We will see you on episode 100. Also, consider supporting us on Patreon, where we have exclusive content at. Go for it. All right. We'll see you guys next week on episode 100. Peace. Take care.